But you know, interestingly, even if you look at those associations, till well after Indian independence, a number of countries in the Middle East and around the Gulf were actually almost using the Indian rupee as legal tender, whether it is you know, Oman or many other countries that were using the rupee. Not almost. They were using it because this was their currency. In fact, they didn't have central banks. So countries like Oman, Bahrain, um, UAE, I think even Kuwait, all of them were using the Indian rupee as their currency for a simple reason. They didn't have a central bank. They were using currencies issued by the Reserve Bank of India. And in fact, the Indian rupee had been used from ancient times. And the rupee, by the way, means literally, a, the rupiah is literally a silver coin. So the Indian silver coin was the currency in the Indian Ocean region, which is why even India, Indonesia uses rupiah. This is the main currency that was used. Uh, even if the silver came from you know, Latin America, it came to India, got stamped by an Indian empire, say the Vijayanagar or the, or the Mughals or whoever it was. And then that coin was the legal tender. So the British then inherited this. And then independent India inherited that further. So it was in the 1960s, interestingly, it was India that began to, um, from our side, began to discourage others from using our currency. Well, Sanjeev, thank you so much for talking to us. I think that's a separate subject. We should talk about capital account convertibility and how India can make the rupee into legal tender again. And also, I must talk to you about that fascinating ship that you're working on, might be sailing all the way from Kalinga to, uh, to, to Indonesia at some point. But thank you so much for joining us.